Kamakura Eating Tour, 9 Recommended Places to Eat. Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. Today, we'll be doing an eating tour in Kamakura. Kamakura is a popular tourist spot where 20 million people visit a year. We'll be sharing food that are spoken well of as well as tourist spots around the area, so keep on watching. Now, let's get started. Today, we are headed to Kamakura City in Kanagawa Prefecture, a neighbor to Tokyo. And here, we are in Kamakura Station. If you were to take the Enoden, Aka Enoshima Electric Railway from here, you reach Enoshima, which we covered in a video before. The detail will be linked in the description box, so make sure to check the video too. We'll now briefly cover some of the tourist spots in Kamakura. This is the most classic traveler's visiting point, known as Tsurugaoka Hachimangu. It's around 10 minute walking distance from the station. This is a historical shrine built way back in 1063. The place is popular for overseas visitors because you can really feel the Japanese sensation and atmosphere. It is said that you receive good luck when you visit, so you don't want to miss out on that. One more famous spot to share. This is Kotoku-in, where a great Buddha of Kamakura, commonly known as Kamakura Daibutsu, is located. It's needless to say, this is a historical statue that was built more than 750 years ago. It is registered as a national treasure too. You'd need an admission fee to enter and to see the glory of the statue. Let's now stroll around to fill up our stomach. We'll be exploring Komachi Street, just an eye from Kamakura Station. This area consists of approximately 250 stores. We'll start our first review from here. This store is called Kamakura Menchi, specializes in minced cutlets. For the meat, they use Hayama beef, a branded Japanese beef grown in Kanagawa. Round and big minced cutlets. For the sauce, they combine ketchup and mustard together. The store uses rough bread crumbs, so it has crispy finish. Also, can't forget to mention it has melting cheese inside. Perfect combination of the beef and cheese. Let's head over to the next store. The second store which we'll introduce is here. This is Kamidokoro Kamakura. This cafe specializes in warabi mochi. Today, we want to share with you a drink menu with this warabi mochi. The drink is a mixture of milk and coffee with warabi mochi and whipped cream. Warabi mochi is sweetened with brown sugar from Okinawa. I'm loving how it comes with plenty of whipped cream. Sweet warabi mochi had soft and kind mouth feel. It's melting in my mouth. Let's move to the next. The third to be introduced is Kamakura Ichibanya. This is a rice cracker store. You can try freshly prepared rice cracker on charcoal fire. We try soy sauce flavored one this time. Savory aroma of the soy sauce is very tempting. So hot since they are just being prepared. The smell of the seaweed lava really elevates the flavor of the cracker. Size is relatively small so perfect for a casual walk-in. 
Next door always forms lines of people waiting, and it's called Yume Mia. The store sells colorful dango, translated to glutinous rice balls. There's so many to choose from, but we chose this. This is four colored dango, each with different flavors. The dango comes with topped sweet creams of cherry blossom, zunda, the sweet mashed green soybeans, chestnut, and matcha. Dango are chewy and sweet creams really pairs up together. I would love hot green tea to go with the dessert. Next, we'll touch on Hanari Inari. The store hosts many menus with eggs. Its specialty is freshly prepared rolled egg cooked on huge iron plate. The rolled egg smells amazing of the broth. We chose steamed omelette for this video. The omelette comes with eel as filling. Size is big and quite filling. The broth overflowing from the omelette is super. And it's so fluffy with hint of sweetness. The egg goes amazing with the sweet seasoned eel. It sure is a luxury omelette. This is another line forming store called Tomoya. From Tomoya, you can get selections of ice cream that are authentic Japanese flavors. But for now, we wanted to get a popular cake in the shape of Buddha. There are six flavors to choose from, but we chose purple sweet potato. The Buddha shaped cake is quite funky. It smells sweet of honey. The batter of the cake is fluffy. The cake is filled with abundant cream made from the purple sweet potato. Its sweet and moist mouthfeel is fantastic. Now, Let's go and explore for more. This is fried chicken store, Mako-chan. The chicken made in this store has received gold medal three years in a row at a competitive show. The soy sauce flavor is filling up the atmosphere. The size is quite big and plenty. Crispy on the outside and juicy in the inside. The chicken is tender and soft. The kicks from ginger and garlic add perfect flavor. Next, we want to introduce soup dumpling stand, Kasei. The place is relatively new, began from April this year. From the stand, you can get soup dumplings, each made by hand from scratch. We got a set of dumplings with two different flavors. The white one has pork, while the other green has shrimp. It's so steamy because the stand serves dumplings that are just been prepared. The dumpling skin has thickness and chewy. The grilled part on the bottom are crispy and quite a nice change in texture. And the soup is overflowing. The pork dumpling has powerful flavor and very juicy. How about the shrimp one? This one is also overflowing with the soup from shrimp. It's so plump and has a slight sweetness to it. Nice to be able to enjoy two different flavors at once. Let's move to the next. The last to wrap up the video is here. Curry bread stand called Giraffa. This stand began in 2020 and has been forming lines every day of people waiting to purchase. We picked out the curry bread that has sold more than 1500 a day. The outside bread is really crispy, almost has a cookie feel. For the filling of curry inside, more than 30 different spices are being used. The curry consists of apple, honey, wine, and tomato, so it's naturally fruity and has sweet flavor. 
The melting cheese inside is addictive too. The best curry bread I've ever had. Kamakura is filled with delicious food. So sure to visit here again. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.